What's up guys, happy 16.3. The workout was released tonight and it is a seven minute AMRAP for the RX crew. It's gonna be 10 power snatches and three bar muscle ups for the scale. 10 power snatches and five jumping chest to bar pull ups. So instead of just getting that chin over like the first week, it's gonna be jumping to where the bar actually makes contact with your chest. So a little bit more challenging there. My advice, some people are gonna sprint this workout for seven minutes. Some people also got through all of the reps at 315 last week. I am not someone who has the cardiovascular capacity to go for the full seven minutes as fast as I can. I'm guessing most people probably don't. Now what I do think is important is to find a fast yet comfortable pace where ideally athletes will not be letting go of the bar for all 10 reps of power snatch. Now the tendency for a lot of athletes is gonna be to come out of the gate with muscle snatches because we can. We're fresh, bar feels light, just stand, squeeze the butt, lock the quads and go right back down. Very few people in my opinion will be able to hold on to the muscle snatch version for the entire workout. So I would suggest not redlining and going to complete failure if you do plan on muscle snatching and instead maybe break it up by set maybe five muscle snatches into five power snatches to get through the 10 and make it a little bit more efficient. But don't redline, don't completely crush your grip on those first couple of rounds and then be wrecked for the last three to four minutes of the workout. That's my advice there. On the bar muscle ups, uh, today will be a day where a couple of people get their very first bar muscle up, but for the folks who need to scale, just like with that first week, get through those five jumping chest to bar pull ups as fast as possible. Make sure you drop all the way down to a full lockout, make contact with the chest and right back down. For the folks who are going to go bar muscle ups, the good news is if you have the movement smoothly, most of us know when we can or can't link that next rep. If you have to go singles, there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't miss very many reps here. That can be discouraging. Once you're up over the bar, either link yourself back down right into the next one or safely get down, shake it out, and then go back up for the next rep. Keeping yourself gymnastics tight, so thinking about that hollow body position and then that Superman position or that extended arch position is going to be really important. As we get tired, and I can almost promise you your lower back is going to get fairly tired from doing those power snatches, the last thing we want to do is start scorpioning and breaking our backs really badly as we're hanging from the pull-up rig. So keep yourself as tall and as tight as possible and then you'll make those muscle ups a lot easier as we go through there. Um, I'm expecting the common round finishes to be somewhere between seven and nine. Um, folks who come out really, really fast and crash hard, I don't recommend that. So nice comfortable pace at the halfway point, three and a half minutes. I want athletes to still feel pretty darn good. Now, posture, as we talk about the power snatches, it's gonna be very easy for someone to come up with that bar and then go straight back down to the floor with that arched and rounded back. Do your best to maintain this position with the chest up nice and high for as long of the workout as you can. So, when we get back in between reps, instead of going straight down to the ground just as you can and yanking the bar up overhead, try your best to make sure that when you're locked out, bring it back and go right back to this position with that tall chest in between those reps. Again, as fatigue sets in, it's gonna be all about that transition time. So if 10 reps look like this, and you're right back down to the ground, that's gonna take a lot more energy. Then, being able to reset, aggressive hip drive, stand up, bring the bar back down, then based on your comfort level with the bar, you get the choice whether you reset at the hips or go straight to the ground. The fastest athletes in this workout are probably going to go straight back down to the ground. So from here, do a rep, stand, then right back down if you can get to this position safely. Otherwise, lock out, reset, and then send the bar back to the ground. So it's going to be about pacing and realizing that even though you might feel great for the first three minutes of this workout, if you go all out in red line, it's going to be very tough to hang on to that speed for the full seven. Any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Good luck, have fun, I believe in you guys. Enjoy 16.3. It's more of a sprint than we've had for the last couple of weeks. See ya.